Hello, church family. Happy Friday. I am bringing you a word of encouragement today, and this week we have been talking about why we grow. As Christians, as believers in the church, why do we grow? And hopefully you've heard the other devotions this week. The guys have made some really great points, said some great things, and here's one of the reasons that I think we grow, and that is to pass on our faith to the next generation. And I think this is a little bit of a crossover message between why we grow and why we go. Um, but I really think that's one of the most important things that we do as believers. We grow in our faith and in um, confidence of what is true and what God teaches and in our own character and behavior so that we can be an example and pass on sound doctrine and teaching to the next generation. And I know we've talked um, before about the verses in Deuteronomy that talk about parents teaching their children all the time when when you you know when you wake up when you walk by the way when you lie down all the time being um, mindful of God's word and passing that on to your kids and we've seen you know in the Old Testament the Israelites oftentimes you would get a really good king who was following God but they didn't pass their faith on to the next generation and then they had evil kings and then bad things happened in um, in the kingdom and leading to exile and things like that. Um, but I, I still think that God really wants us to be strong in our faith so that we can pass that on to the next generation. So I'm going to look at some verses in the book of Titus. And this is at the beginning of Titus 1. This is Paul writing to Titus and he calls Titus my true son in our common faith. And he says, the reason I left you in, this is verse 5. The reason I left you in Crete was that you might put in order what was left unfinished and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. An elder must be blameless. And he goes on to talk about things about an elder. Skip down a couple of verses. Um, and it says, rather, he must be hospitable, one who loves what is good, who is self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firmly to the trustworthy message at his, as it has been taught so that he can encourage others by sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. So I think one of the important reasons that we grow is so that we can know truly what God says um, so that we can know sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. That's what he's talking about, the elders who are overseeing the church. And then when you skip to chapter 2, it says, teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, self-controlled, and sound in faith, in love, and in endurance. Likewise, teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanderers or addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. Then they can urge the younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled and pure, to be busy at home, to be kind, and to be subject to their husbands so that no one will malign the word of God. Similarly, encourage the young men to be self-controlled in everything. Set them an example by doing what is good. So I like how in chapter 2 he's talking about what you teach the older men and the older women so that they can teach the younger men and younger women and be an example to them. So when we grow in our own faith and we grow in the knowledge of the truth of the gospel and of the Bible and what it says, and we are living that out as an example, we get to pass that on to the next generation. And a little plug for children's ministry and youth ministry, what an amazing way to pass that on to the next generation. Um, is by being involved in those ministries, but especially in your own family, pass that on to your kids. I love that Albert earlier this week talked about um, Timothy and he talked about his mother and his grandmother, how they passed their faith on to Timothy. And then Paul was able to partner with their family to take that even to the next step of passing on the ministry of the church to Timothy and to grow him in that way, which started with his mother and his grandmother starting the faith in him when he was younger. So that's a reason that I think we grow. We grow in our maturity and in our knowledge so that we can pass that on sound doctrine and how to live it out to the next generation. So I hope you find that helpful and encouraging and um, I hope you have a great week. Thanks.